Hello, it's Jimmy here at O'Reilly's. So, I'm going to talk about something that I've seen happen more than a few times and I haven't really mentioned it um, specifically. I'm, if you go back through some of my videos um, in particular, I can remember a few that I had on Citroën Picasso uh, that had a similar, similar story. So, this car has had the DPF cleaned at a DPF specialist. It's got, you know, the big garage units and they've got the big massive machine that costs 50 grand or so uh, to clean the DPF. They clean the DPF and put it all back on the car but they're still not getting the right readings that they want. Sensors have been changed and all sorts and they don't know what the problem is so they sent it away. So he's here looking, having me look at it. So the main problem is is that when the vehicle is idling, not seeing any pressure and that is the vehicle idling there. Okay, so looking under the car, we can see it's had new bolts, gaskets and whatever, because they've taken the DPF off. Here is the DPF in question. It's not really that old itself. So disconnected the hose that goes to the pressure sensor up here. And we connect a vacuum gauge onto this pipe that goes in to read the pressure. Sorry, I'm a little bit squashed under here, but if we squeeze the trigger, yeah, it goes all the way up. So the pipe here is blocked on that bend. So that's why it's not getting uh, a reading. Okay, now I've cleaned that out with some foam. We've sprayed it through there at 130 PSI to get it cleared out. So just so I'm explaining what's going on here is the DPF's been removed. It's been flushed out through the center of the DPF, but what they haven't done is this little pipe here reads the pressure. There's carbon usually in that corner there and they haven't uh, cleared that out so that's where the confusion has come from that's why they're not getting a reading on the DPF and now we're getting a reading increase the revs up there we go so that's it, I'll see you on the next video